So as part of our plants theme unit, we're going to do an art activity using oil pastels to do some mushrooms on a log. This is going to include using the pastels to blend the colors together. Let me show you the different stages to get to this. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna use a blank piece of black construction paper and we're gonna use some oil pastels. And when I use black construction paper, I really want my colors to pop, to be a lot brighter. So I'm gonna draw everything in white first. So I've got my white pastel. And I think the first thing I wanna do is maybe create a log for my mushrooms to grow on. So I'm gonna do a little curved line here and I'm going to draw a straight, straightish line along there, and a straightish line along the bottom. And then I can draw another curved line if I want. I could draw it going inwards like that a bit. And then I can do another line kind of coming down like that. So we've got a bit of the inside of the log to see. So there's my log. Might want to make a hole in my log, so I might just want to draw a circle or something to show where the hole is going to be. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to draw my mushrooms on top. And I could do two mushrooms or three mushrooms. My log's pretty small. I think I'm going to just do two. But I'm going to start off by doing kind of an upside down U shape. And I could do a narrow one like that. Or I could do a, a bigger, flatter one like that. I could do quite a tall one or a small one. Maybe I'll do one more. Let's just do a, a little tiny one like that. There we go. So I've got some upside down U's. All right, the next step I want to do is I want to do some little crenellations, we call these. So kind of like little up-down lines here. So across and up, back down, and across and up, and back down, and across and up, and back down. And these little crenellations, kind of like a castle wall. Next, I want to draw the stem that goes down. So I'm going to draw my stem going down like that. And again, I'm drawing everything in white pastel to begin with. And kind of a little zigzag line that goes across the stem. All right, so I've got the basic shape of my three mushrooms. Okay, the next job is I'm going to color everything in white and I'm going to lose a little bit of what I've drawn here, but go ahead and let's color everything in white. I'm just going to speed up the film so you're not bored watching me do all of this. Hey, by the way, if you end up coloring all the way down to the edge of your paper, you just use your thumb there and sort of peel the paper back. It doesn't matter if our paper is broken. It doesn't matter if we end up even breaking our, our pastel. Even little bits and pieces are useful. Let me just finish off coloring my white. And what you'll notice is where I want my hole in the log to be, I've left that black. And where I've left the opening of this log, I've left that looking black as well. Otherwise, everything now has been colored in white. And the reason I do that is because now when I add color on top, that color is going to pop off and be a bit brighter because of the white. Whereas if I put the color straight on the black, it ends up looking darker and duller. But this white base coat helps to make it brighter. All right, let's move to the next step. All right, so now I'm going to want to add some colors that are what I call corresponding colors, colors that go nicely together. So yellow and red, for example. So right over top of my white, I'm going to use some yellow here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color part of my 
mushroom here yellow, almost like half. Then I might take another color, like a red or an orange here. I think I'll go for an orange actually. I'm gonna color the other part orange. The two colors kind of blend together, that's all right. Yellow and orange. I think this one, I might make a light blue and a dark blue. I'm gonna go with the light colors on this side, over this side, sort of pretending sunlight is hitting it, so these lighter colors are gonna be on this side. Go right over top the white. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, but it's a bit messy to begin with. I'm gonna put my darker blue more on this side now. My colors get mixed together, that's okay. But you sort of see I'm kind of almost doing a, a half and half, you know? Half of this is light blue, half of this is dark blue. It's not gonna stay that way, but that's where I'm gonna start with my colors like that. Maybe this last little tiny one, I'm gonna do sort of a, a pink and a red. Of course, my log, well, it's a log. I'm gonna make it brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my brown on here. Again, sort of where I see a, a hole being in the log, I'm going to keep that black. Where I see the opening of the log here, I'm going to sort of keep that black. Everywhere else I've colored in brown. And you've noticed it doesn't matter whether I'm going up and down or whether I'm going across, because we're going to get to the next stage in a moment, which is going to be all about blending. Just before I go ahead and do that, I think I'm going to add some moss on my log. So maybe what I'm going to do is just take this dark green and kind of draw a bit of a, a moss cover to the top, color that in green. Notice I can put a color right on top of another color. Doesn't matter too much. I can even add white on top if I want. On top of the white. So you see you can really add one color on top of the other. Doesn't matter too much. I might put some white down here on the ground. That layer of green on the ground. Sitting on a maybe a mossy forest floor. And here too, I could dab in a bit of light green. I've got my colors added, and it doesn't matter if it gets a little messy around here on the on here. You can always try and blow it off, but if it's messy, it's okay. Because now comes the messy part. I'm gonna use my fingers, and with my fingers, I'm gonna rub onto the colors. So just with my finger, I'm pushing the colors around. This is to blend. And where I have the two colors meeting, in this case, the yellow and the orange, I'm blending them together. Pushing them around, kind of using my finger now, like it was the, the pastel tip. And don't worry, yes, the picture's going to end up looking blurry, but that's okay, that's all part of it. So push those colors together. I have to kind of push pretty hard with my finger to really push them and blend them and move them. So they become blurry looking now. This pastel is soft. This lets me actually blend the colors together so they don't look like there's such a straight line dividing the dark blue and the light blue or the yellow and the orange or whatever, right? Now I can kind of make the two colors melt together, blend or melt together. Ends up looking blurry and fuzzy, but we're gonna fix that, so don't worry.
harder to do. It's a little easier with the bigger size mushrooms. So if you have a chance, don't draw your mushrooms too small. The moss. Well, not to rip your paper. You have to be a little careful. I'm sort of holding my paper with one hand and pushing with the other hand that, you know, where I'm pushing with my finger. Blending it together, and of course, I want to do my log here. So I'm really pushing. This is a bigger, longer part here, so we'll fast forward through this. All right, there we go. We've got some of the colors blended together, but I can still add some layers on top. So let's say I want this part here to be even darker, maybe this edge to be even a little darker, and these underneath parts here like this, be a little bit darker. So I'm just going back over with that dark blue, and again, I'll just blend it a little bit, a little bit softer with the blending, because I want maybe this dark blue to stand out a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit in shadow, like we didn't get as much light shining on it. And I'll do the same with my orange and yellow. A little bit more darker orange in here. On these edges here where there might not be as, the sunlight's coming from this direction, this side is gonna be darker. And some of that back in. here. Take my white and I could do the opposite instead of the dark. Now I want this to almost show like there's a bit more light, a bit more brightness shining right on top of here. Top part. A little bit brighter and lighter. darker spots where the light's not going to hit it as much. I've got an image that looks a little bit more blurry. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to make this pop off the page. And the way I'm going to do that is with my black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline as carefully as I can, as close to that edge. I'm gonna outline with my black now. Where I want it to be really black, I'll even color that in with my black pastel. And I could start adding some detail lines. Like maybe I want to add some little lines like this to make the wood appear to have grains, the wood grain. By outlining it in black, that really helps to make it pop right out. I could also add maybe some polka dots. So I wanna use some colors that go well with it. So let's say I make some red polka dots pop out on the top of this mushroom. Maybe I make some orange polka dots here on this one. Don't have to add polka dots if you don't want. I just kinda of like it. Maybe I'll add some blue polka dots over here. Color that really sort of pops out. And then if I want, I could add some more background as well. So maybe I want to add some ferns or some trees in the background. 
So maybe I'll just draw some, some plant stems going like this with some leaf parts going up. I'm gonna use some white to make it sort of pop off the page. Or maybe I've got some, some trees in the background. And I can go over those with my, my light and my dark green. Okay, just going right over top of the, the white just to make it pop off the page some more. And really this is just a background, so it's not important that it's got all the details. It's just kind of back there. Even if it looks a little dark, that's okay. Don't have the white as a base. The color doesn't pop quite as bright, but that's okay, because again, this is the background here, so I don't really want it to stand out and pop out as much as I want my mushrooms to sort of stand out and pop out. These mushrooms are in the forest, so things like trees and moss and grass, and ferns, they're the sort of things we're gonna see. They don't have to be perfect, because again, this is just the background. I want my mushrooms to be the part that stands out. And there we go, I've added some background in there, some just some more interest, but I've really made my mushrooms in the center, the center focus. And I've just done that with blending. And as you're doing things, I mean, if you make a little mistake, let's say I'm coloring this tree in the background, and oops, I get a bit of green on there, right? No big deal, take my finger, just blend and push that color around a bit. Go back over top with the colors I want again, and I can fix that, make it just part of it, right? You can use your white, to lighten parts up, and you can use your darker colors to darken parts up. Just have fun blending. There we go. There's some pastel forest floor mushrooms.